Today we are going to see um, the basics of the of the basic concept of what a transfer function is and how to obtain it. We will derive the equations of the system and then we're going to examine what the Laplace transform does and how we obtain the transfer function. So disappear from here. Um, we have this circuit in here as you see and uh, you're going to uh, to define what the input is in here yes obviously this is the input and we are going to define that the voltage across the capacitor is our output okay so why don't we write down the we're going to write down what the objective of, of, of our explanation is. So the, what's the objective here? The objective is to find a relation uh, between the voltage C and the input voltage. Okay, this, this relation is known as the transfer function. Okay, so <clears throat> in order to do this, you know, I like, always I like steps. So why should should we we are gonna try the first step in here, and then we go over here and say okay, I'm gonna write it down in here. Step number one. I'm gonna say derive or the equations of motion. using Kirchhoff's laws mm -hmm. using Kirchhoff's laws oh, there we go that's the first thing so why don't we go over here and we will do just that. Let's change colors here. And you, Kirchhoff's law says that the summation of the voltages around a loop equal to zero, right? So this is like saying the current I, which you see here, I times R would be the voltage R plus 1 over C, the integral of I dt plus L times di dt, this should be equal to V. That's what this is. Also we had written the, the, the differential equations in terms of the charge, we, if we say that I is dQ dt, therefore then you have dQ dt times R plus 1 over C times Q plus L times D square Q dt square. This is equal to V. This is the differential equation in the time domain. So let's just draw a little frame around this. This is the differential equation of my system. Okay. So the second step that we um, that we need to apply to this 
is, let's see, while we put in here a, just make a line here so that we leave some space for my explanation I'm, I'm in there. And at the same time, we have space for doing the demonstration here. Okay, where are we? All right, so let's go over here. We say, now we're going to re remember, um, <coughs> we're gonna remember what the Laplace transform is. Um, we're going to call the Laplace operator Class operator says that we represent S is going to be the derivative with respect to time of some function. Okay. So um, you could say that this is a, a transformation if we represent it with the, the differential <coughs> equation with this operator. So if you have, for example, the, uh, the other operator, and let's see, <coughs> you have the, a derivative like the first one, that you have dq dt, then if you oh. apply the operator to this, and this is, like S times Q of S. I'll use capital so that um, we can make a difference. And if if I do D square Q, DT square, this is D, DT of what? Of DQ DT, that's what it means. So if this is true, this would be S times S times Q of S, which we can write as S squared times Q of S, like that, all right? This is the Laplace operator, or you may say also this known as the Laplace transform. Okay. So what we're going to do is to take the next step in here, which is step number two, that says apply the Laplace transform. Okay. To the differential equations. Okay. That's the idea. So in here, we're going to go and do that e exactly to this differential equation that we have. And we're going to see what we, where we go with that. OK, so in here, you're going to say this is going to be S times R times Q of S plus 1 over C times Q of S plus L times D squared Q D T squared, which is just a square, times Q of S, this is equal to the voltage V. So if this is the case, using this transformation, we can say that um, S squared times L, no, L times S squared, plus um, R times S plus 1 over C multiplied by Q of S is equal to V of S, like that. 
Okay, very good. So from here, it's obvious that Q of S, in this case, is the voltage of S divided by this <coughs> equation, Ls squared plus Rs plus 1 over C. Okay, so after having applied the Laplace transform, we are going to solve the system of equations like I have done it here. I'm going to say step number three, I will say solve the system of equations, in this case for Q of S, like this. And then you you um, you want to say um, uh, relate the output to the Q of a solution. <coughs> okay. In this particular case, the output that you see here, how do we measure this voltage output in here? Isn't it true that B of C here is what? 1 over C times the integral of I dt like that? Or this is 1 over C times Q? Yeah, this is the voltage C. So if this, if this is the case, you will have that the voltage C, this is the output, is 1 over C times <coughs> Q. And this, in the time domain, 1 over C times Q. In the frequency domain, voltage C of S is 1 over C times Q of S. So you see, if this is true, now we can find this relation that we want. So BC is going to be 1 over C times this. So this would be B of S. And then you have this would be L is square plus RS plus 1 over C. So if you multiply this B, or you multiply, rather you establish this ratio, B of C of S, over the um, voltage of S like this, this would be equal to 1 over uh, this would be L times C times S square plus R times C plus 1. And this expression that I just did, this expression that I have, is the transfer function. Now, one thing that you can conclude from this is always that the output, if, if, if the idea is that the output over the, the relationship to the input, this is your transfer function of, in the, of it. It follows that the output is equal to the transfer function times the input. And this is the remarkable result because if you are able, if you know the transfer function of a system and the input, you should find, you should know the output.
and that's why this is a great contribution from Laplace. On your input, you're missing an S, R, C, S on the denominator. Yeah, here is R is, so this would be R C S. And that way we'll have there you go. This is the transfer function of the, of this, and this is the concept of the transfer function, which is the relationship between an output and an input.